Can AI be helpful when running a Google Ads account? Yes, I have used AI in the past if I get in an ad slump. There are times where we're trying to create ads or figure out new keywords that um, would be creative for an ad account. And I'm gonna show you today some tips and tricks to using AI. Now this may not be for everybody and this is not of course an end all be all um, answer to everything in a Google Ads account. But if you are kind of in a struggle to think of some things or think of some keywords to use, I'm just gonna show you how you can initiate ChatGPT to give you a little boost. If you're watching this, you're probably already familiar with the Google Ad Grant. If you're not, check out our link that I'm gonna put in the comments. You can check your eligibility in three easy steps to see if your organization is eligible for the grant. This is a grant that is worth uh, $10,000 a month in Google advertising. All right, so I have a Google Ads account um, and let's just say that I am struggling and I really need some help finding some keywords to use. ChatGPT can be a good resource but we have to be careful. Obviously, some of the things that come across where, you know, it is a computer. Um, so we don't wanna just copy and paste everything that it puts in here as a, as a suggestion, but the more specific you are also with your prompts, the better results you're gonna get. So I'm gonna head in here and give it our first prompt. So I just asked for an example, or I asked for 30 to 40 keywords for a church in Austin, Texas for people looking for a church in Austin, Texas. Now with your Google grant account, you cannot use single keywords, single word keywords. So I'm pretty specific. I'm asking for um, non-single word keywords so that if I do like all of these, I can just copy and paste them. Most of the ones that it actually gave back are pretty good. I mean, Christian church in Austin, Texas, churches near me, Austin. Uh, evangelical church, Austin. Now, if these, if some of these in here, you would say, oh, well, those don't fit what I need, then just don't use them. Um, some of these are longer, more of a phrase, but again, with, with your Google ads, kind of the more specific you are in your keyword phrase, the um, better quality of your ad. So I would say that we got some pretty good stuff here. Now, um, if I did have like a ministry page, let's say, or an event that we wanted to run ads for, and I really wasn't sure about keywords there, we can actually try putting in a page. So I'm going to go find a page here. So here's a good blog page that a church had. So I'm actually gonna just copy this page. I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and give it another prompt and we'll see what we come up with. So I'm just gonna put that page in there and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so this blog post, as you can see, is about how to grow spiritually. So the keywords that it gave, spiritual growth for new believers, new believer resources, Christian growth tips, beginner's guide to faith, faith journey for new Christians, spiritual development for new Christians. These are pretty good. Again, if there are some in here that don't seem to fit the bill for the ad that you wanna make, let's not use those, but you literally could come in here, copy all of these, and then we could go into this ads account and pop these in. Um, now, uh, the, you can turn these into um, phrase match, broad match, exact match keywords, whatever fits your account and what you're trying to do. But um, it is kind of cool just to see what prompts we can give it. And like I said, the more specific you are with what you're wanting in return, the better. Um, if it does, if it does give back some weird feedback, then you just say, try again. Or if we like these, we could say, give me more. Here we go. New Believer Church Program. So now we have 40 keywords that we could take into this new ad group in our ads account. I think this is kind of a cool tool. It's kind of interesting to see, um, you know, certain prompts that we give it, the results that we get back. You could use this for your nonprofit if you're trying to find some new ads to work. This is really for like, if you get into a slump. Now, of course, this is doing no keyword research at all, which is a, a really good tool that you should be using to kind of see, are these words even worth um, search? Are, are you getting any search results for these? So just 
just because uh, these are good matched keywords for the page or post that we're trying to make ads for, that does not mean that there is actual search volume for those keywords. So using other tools, of course, are gonna you're gonna need those for your Google Ads account if you really wanna get the most out of that. But if we are ever in a pickle and would like to just get some help, looks like ChatGPT could be just that. So we've gotten some keywords from ChatGPT for this new ad group that we wanna run on this blog post. Now I'm gonna see if we can actually, if it can help us give um, some headlines and some descriptors. So when you do write an ad, to get a good ad, you need um, descriptions and headlines. Now with my headlines, we are capped at 30 characters. So we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and give it another prompt for some headlines. So we can take as many of these as we would want to add into our headlines here. Now, if we want some descriptions, these are 90 characters. So we're just gonna go back to uh, ChatGPT and say, Now get me four descriptions to use for the Google ads that are maximum of 90 characters. Okay, so discover resources and tips to grow your faith as a new believer, start your journey today. Get support and guidance for your faith journey. Explore our resources for new Christians. And these are pretty good. Now, of course, some of these don't, I mean, if you thought that some of them didn't sound as like natural or don't use the language that maybe you guys use, this at least can give you an idea of, hey, let me just change some of these words, change some of these phrases to the language that we use here at the church. But I mean, honestly, if we were just to come up with some, some new ads, ChatGBT gave us several keywords to use a lot of descriptions and headlines. So we technically could totally roll with an ad that we made with ChatGPT and see how that does. I think that's pretty cool. If you have any questions or if you've tried using AI for um, any ads that you've personally done, drop us some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If this was helpful and you want more content like this for your church or organization. We put out content weekly, so make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified when we put out new stuff.